Hello, mathematicians, and hope you're ready for math lesson number 26. Pop this little guy out of there. All right, we are furthering our quest for long division fun. Oh my goodness, take a look at this one. What happens if there's not just the decimal in the house, but there's a decimal at the door? How do you even have 0.6 of a friend anyway? And how do you share 3.6 cookies with them? Oh my goodness. Okay, now we're gonna think a little bit about multiplication here for a second. 0 0.6 times 10, right? So anything times 10, the sneaky way of doing it is we're gonna skip the decimal point over one spot. So 0 0.6 times 10, we're going to end up with lucky number six. Okay, wait a second. We'd know what to do if we had six at the door. So what if we changed this 0.6 into a six? And you know what? That's exactly what we're gonna do. But if we change something at the door, we have to change the same thing in the house. Otherwise, it ends up being a different math problem. So we're going to multiply the 0.6 times 10, which looks like moving the decimal point one spot over. Okay, basically we want to get rid of that decimal point or at least put it in the right spot so we're dealing with a whole number instead of a decimal number at the door. Okay, then we also, we went one hop at the door, so we have to do one hop inside the house. So this is no longer the decimal point, it's now over here on the right hand side. Now we can divide just like we did. Okay, so six is at the door, so we're gonna look underneath the six and we're trying to get as close to three as possible without being bigger. Oh my goodness, it's not possible. Nobody gets any cookies. Ah, uh, that's daddy fish divide. Now we've gotta do mama fish says multiply because remember, daddy divides, mama multiplies, sister subtracts, and brother brings down. Okay. Zero times six is still zero. Now shift into sister subtracts. Three minus zero, still three. Brother's gonna bring down this happy little six. So now I've got 36 cookies to share with my six friends. So I look under the six, trying to get as close to 36 as possible. We can get bang on. Okay, so then if I'm sharing all 36 cookies, each person is going to get six. Okay, six times six is 36. Sister's gonna subtract, there is nothing left. Brother tries to bring down, there's nothing left to bring down. Last thing we have to do, float that decimal up. Okay, so our original problem was 3.6 divided by 0.6, and the answer is six. We have solved our first decimal at the door problem. Awesome. Let's try one that's maybe a little bit harder. Okay, so I have 4.23 cookies and I have 0.9 friends who would like to share them. Hmm. Okay, first thing we gotta do we gotta get that decimal out of the way at the door. Yuck, we don't know what to do with you. So we're gonna move you over, hop you over one spot, which means we also have to hop inside the house. Same direction, same number of hops. No longer the decimal point. Okay, so now it looks like we have 42.3 divided by nine. Well, we can use our handy multiplication chart to solve that one. Let's start. Four divided by nine, I look underneath the nine because we always look under the number at the door. Trying to get as close as possible to four without going over, can't do it. Okay, zero it is. Nobody gets any cookies today. Zero times nine is zero. Sister's gonna subtract four minus zero. We're gonna keep all four things, right? We didn't use any of them up. Brother's gonna bring down the next digit. Okay. This time we've got 42 cookies, 
sharing with nine people. So we're looking underneath the nine to get as close to 42 as we can without being bigger. Oh, too big. We're gonna go back, we're gonna end up sharing 36 things over to the wall. That means everybody's gonna get four. Figure out what we've used up. Four times nine is 36. Then sister's gonna subtract to see what is left. Two minus six. Remember, subtracting is always, 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 always top minus bottom. And if there's not enough, if I've got two things and I need to take six things away and I can't do it, two's gonna just walk next door and he's gonna sweet talk this guy and say, hey, can I borrow some? Four says, sure. So here it becomes three. And now the two becomes two plus 10. So he's gonna become 12. All right. So now I have 12 things and I'm gonna take away six of them. So I've got six things left. Three minus three is zero. Feeling lazy, I don't wanna write it down. Brother fish brings down the next digit for us to share. All right, so we've got 63 things to share with our nine friends. Look underneath the nine to get as close to that 63 as we can. <gasps> Bang on, we can do it. So that means everybody's gonna get seven cookies. Seven times nine is 63. Sister's gonna subtract to see if there's anything left. Brother looks to see if there's anything left to bring down. We have shared everything. Last thing, we're gonna float up the decimal balloon. Bloop, 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 bloop. So now, if you had 4.23 cookies and you shared it with 0.9 people, each person would get 4.7 cookies. So there are some rules for us to follow when there is a decimal at the door. Step one, we're gonna move the decimal at the door um, to the right so we can get rid of it. Step two, we're gonna move the decimal in the house the same number of steps and in the same direction. Step number three, divide just like usual. Daddy fish divides, mommy fish just multiplies, sister fish subtracts, brother fish brings down. Final step, once we finish the whole thing, is we float the decimal up into the answer. And if we've been a, done a good job of putting our answers on the roof, it's gonna be in just the right place to make sense as our answer. Okay, so that's all you need to do. There is one more worksheet for you to do, and uh, your parents will have it again as a separate attachment to either print out or uh, bring up on the screen so you can look at uh, the questions and write the questions down. Okay, good luck, happy mathing!